Now this is getting a bit of a craze nowadays because so many machines, you put a conventional chuck in, it's so high. Of course, the end of it, when you come into the machine, you're right up here. I am on the Bison stand here at Emo 2023 and I'm with a very familiar face, Mr. Mike Harris. So Mike, Afternoon. what are you showing here at Emo? Well, as usual, we have the selection of Bison products that you come to know and love after all these years with the chucks, revolving centers, tube centers, the new rubber flex collet, uh, collet chuck we've got coming out now. Then you move to our almost standard range of collet chucks, lathe chucks, 5C collet chucks as well as high precision ones and now if we keep moving we come to the more newer stuff. Now I'm looking forward to seeing this because it's not something we've seen from Bison before so this is good. What have we got? Right shallow chucks or low height chucks. Now this is getting a bit of a craze nowadays because so many machines you put a conventional chuck in it's so high of course the end of it when you come in the machine and you're right up here so a shallow chuck gives you a little bit more room on the machine you operate it from here but the big advantage these bison chucks have is you can see they're sealed so any swarf you just take off more machining less cleaning i think is the one we went for wasn't it that's the one you like well, that one didn't you? i do i really like that but three again. jaw four jaw 160 mil up to 315. and the thing is like you said it's all about making it easier for the customer yes. because if they're having to change jaws open up the jaws close it and swarfs in the way it's we've yeah. all been there it's a pain it's, it's it's time you could be spent doing something else now we're going to move on to a chuck in a minute uh, to a vice sorry but for i don't vice. really want to talk about that yet because now we're getting to that in a minute are we getting to that in a minute? Getting that one in a right minute. right Come now on. ah let's go about this one this is another new one 160 wide pneumatically it's a stationary vice, pneumatic or um, hydraulically operated by like a foot pedal. Look at the serrated jaws on here as well. Only three mil step, less waste of material as well. Two versions, here's one here with soft top jaws as well. So the customer can machine that out to so full enclosure of the product when he's machining. And I think it's great like I said three mil because sustainability is a big thing. It is now. So wasting material is also becoming a big thing. So. You're only taking three mil. Well, if anyone thing. knows about wasting material, it would be you, Tom. So there you go. Uh, well, right. I, I, this. What makes you say wasting material, Do you Mike? remember this? Do you remember this? I do remember this vice. I have fond, fond yeah, memories of this vice. Well, this is a new version. You had the conventional one. This one now has this, once again, serrated strip on the top, three millimeters. So again, saving on material waste, which so we, we definitely weren't well, doing when we use that one. We didn't do it, we wasted a lot of material. <laughs> but there you go. As I say, the small three mil, it's an adaptation on a conventional vice. And it can, yeah. So any, it, and the thing is as well, because you can change these, yeah. it's not just a first stop vice, which a lot of these vices with the three mil step, right. it's a first stop vice. Yeah. Where now it can be used for up one, Excellent. up two, three, four, as okay. many as you need. Three, one. But the fun doesn't end there. Well, bring you around so this where side. are we going this way we're now, going right here now we're going this way <laughs> brand new chuck this is called a true force chuck because it's like a standard independent chuck you do it up conventionally bring it forward but then by the side here i think we get it around there liam if you bring the camera back slightly you can see from here you can put another key in you turn it and it gives you optimum force that's why it's called a true force shunt so you're not up. just clamping this once you're no. clamping it twice no in other words you clamp it hand and then you activate this it gives you up to 600 deca newtons force and let's be honest if you've got a chuck this size yeah. the workpiece you're going to put in this that exactly. size is going to be worth yeah a lot of money or you're going to have put a lot of time and effort into it so because you haven't been able to tighten it up enough and it slips yeah. that is a big before problem. you'd buy uh, box jaws to go with it to add on to it now you just get it all in one and finally but, over here. and like you said finally this is the thing i'm very excited about towers tombstones cubes you can call it whatever, but Bison make these. In our factory, we have our own foundry, so we can make these ourselves. Really good pricing. Already this week, I've had two inquiries from major machine tool companies to quote them for these. And on them are brand new five axis vices. Which we've been waiting for. for we've Bison. been waiting for this, yeah. This has been a hell of a build up. 
<laughs> but we finally got them. One piece jaws, then you get 0, 0, or 0 0.002 run at repeatability. On the two piece, 0 0.005 repeatability. So that's as good as quick point. Yep. So why would you need quick point if you can use these? Because they're ours and they go very well with this. <laughs> now, last question before I finish, Mike. If people at home haven't seen a video called Man vs Vice, I would highly recommend you watch it with that Vice. Oh, sorry, it. So, my last question to you is, when do we get Man vs Vice 2 with these? Give us a couple of months, we'll be on it. Can't wait for that. <laughs>